let us analyze the circular motion of a body inside a vertical circular track. Here you can see in this figure, we are given with a vertical circular track, which is joined with a smooth horizontal path, and a block of mass m is thrown with a speed u on the horizontal path of the track. In this situation, we can see when the block will reach the curved part and start going up. As we have discussed earlier, when it starts moving up, the normal reaction acting on it will be in radial inward direction. And in this process, when the block goes up, it will be experiencing its weight in downward direction and a component of weight acting on it will be mg cos theta. And here n minus mg cos theta will provide the necessary centripetal force on the block for its circular motion. In this situation, as it reaches up by an angle theta, if the angular displacement is theta, we can directly write the speed of this bob by using its work energy equation. So it is moving with the speed v. We can use using work energy equation, we can write initial kinetic energy of bob was half m u square as it is raised up by a distance h and here again value of h can be written as r into 1 minus cos theta. In this situation it is half m u square minus m g h that is r 1 minus cos theta is equal to the kinetic energy at an angular displacement theta it can be written as half m v square. In this equation m gets cancelled out and the speed we can write as root of u square minus 2gr 1 minus cos theta. This is our equation 1, which gives us the speed of body when it is at an angular displacement theta from the initial position or initial bottommost position of the track. And at this angular displacement theta, we can write at angular position theta n minus mg cos theta, we can write as mv square by r as it is the net centripetal force acting on bob and now we can substitute the value of speed over here that will give us the value of n it is mg cos theta plus m by r into u square minus 2gr 1 minus cos theta. Now we simplified we will get the value of n uh, the expression you can just go ahead and check your previous pages that this expression is almost similar to that of the tension in case of a simple pendulum when thrown from the bottommost position. It is m u square by r minus 2 m g plus 3 m g cos theta. This is our equation number 2. So, be careful these two equations are synonymous with the situation when a simple pendulum is thrown from the bottommost position with an initial speed u. Let us discuss the cases of projection for a body when it is thrown inside the circular track. The situation are almost similar to that of a simple pendulum when it is thrown from the bottommost point with a speed u. We already studied about various cases of projection. Similarly, we analyze the cases of projection of a body inside a vertical circular track. The very first thing we will study we can simply state at u is equals to root 2 gr, which is the first case, where is the radius of circular track and the body is thrown with the speed root 2 gr. We know very well that at root 2 gr, a simple pendulum goes up to the position where a string becomes horizontal and then it returns back. The same phenomena takes place here. At u equals to root 2 gr, body will reach point B and return. That is it. It will reach the position where the angle at which the velocity becomes 0 is 90 degree and then it will come back. The second case if we talk at u is equals to root 4 gr. We have stated that in case of a simple pendulum when the bob is thrown with the speed root 4 gr, it goes up to an angle where uh, the angle with the vertical of a string is cos inverse minus 2 by 3 
and then the string will become a slack and then it follows a projectile motion. Similar phenomena will happen here at u equals to root 4 g r the body will be able to reach a position where the angle theta becomes cos inverse minus 2 by 3 and then at this position the normal reaction becomes 0 and it will start following the projectile motion and finally it will fall on ground. So, we can say at u equals to root 4 g r body will leave the circular track at theta is equals to cos inverse minus 2 by 3 and follow projectile motion as shown in this figure. Simply if we talk about the case when u is equals to root 5 gr, we can simply state in case of a simple pendulum root 5 gr or root 5 gl is the minimum required speed to complete the circular track. So, we can simply state at u equals to root 5 gr at topmost point n becomes 0 because this was the condition to complete the circle that at topmost point in case of a simple pendulum tension becomes 0. So, here its normal reaction becomes 0 and a speed we can simply write directly from that relation it should be root gr and body will complete the circular track. And the last case in general we can discuss at u more than root 2 gr and less than root 5 gr. It is obvious that if a u is less than root 5 gr body will not be able to reach the topmost point and it will not be able to complete the circle because in between somewhere its normal reaction will become 0 and as it is more than root 2 gr certainly it will cross the lower half of the circle. So, in this situation at u between root 5 gr and root 2 gr we can say body will leave the track that means its normal reaction becomes 0 somewhere between point b and c. So, be careful about all these cases of projection because you can find various problems based on each and every case of projection.